Welcome back. I have just finished doing all the hollowing out. It took me about another five, 10 minutes to do, and it's looking pretty good. It measures to about a little under seven and a half. Now I'm not gonna go any more because I can remove the rest of that material later on easier, and it's always good to have more material. Now to see the difference in the size, look at these two holes. That's how much material I had to remove. Just to get to a seven and a half, seven and a half is still a pretty small size for a ring. It's kind of around the average, but still under the average. That's how much you gotta remove. And you use a tool like this, it's a lot quicker. And I'd recommend buying one. You can also see the amount of waste that was left over too. And this is always good to dump out every now and then. I have a bad habit of sneezing and I'll sneeze and go everywhere and it's never fun. And people don't like to have come to your apartment it's covered in wax crap everywhere. Now, that concludes this next phase and I will show you the next step later on. Remember, the big reason why I removed this is so you can look at how deep the stone needs to go. So if I was using this stone on this one, it would have to come to about here. Although it's hard to see with my fingers because they're big and fat, but you can see right there, I have to come to about there. I need to remove almost a solid three, four mils off the top and that'll be the next stage. Thank you very much.